I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will find limit for trigonometric function. The example here is a bit complicated. We need to really simplify this and then find the limit. The question is to evaluate limit when x approaches 0 for 1 minus cos ax divided by 1 minus cos bx. We have done similar examples earlier. You can always go through them, pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now the trigonometric identity which we are going to use to solve is, uh, is cos 2x. Cos 2x could be written as 1 minus 2 sine square x, right? So we could rearrange this bringing 2 sine square x to the left side. So we get 2 sine square x is equals to 1 minus cos 2x, right? Here we have ax and bx. Well, this is half of that. So if I have 1 minus cos ax, I could write this as 2 sine square ax divided by 2. Is it okay? Half of this. So ax divided by 2. Similarly, for bx, it will be bx divided by 2. Correct? Now with that, we could rewrite the given expression as limit x approaches 0 1 minus cos ax could be written as 2 sine square ax divided by 2 divided by the denominator could be written as 2 sine square bx divided by 2 okay? 2 and 2 cancel so we could write this as equal to limit x approaches 0 and um, we could actually write square outside so we could also rewrite this as sine ax divided by 2 over sine bx divided by 2 and everything square correct so we could write like this now we know limit for sine theta divided by theta when theta approaches 0 is 1 so if I write that in that form we could actually find the limit of this function easily so we could write, write this as limit x approaches 0 so I have sine ax divided by 2 what I need to do here is divide by uh, ax divided by 2 right so so you could say <clears throat> okay let me rewrite the denominator also then we'll do the manipulation here so we have sine of bx divided by 2 we need to divide this by bx divided by 2 so if i want to divide this by bx by 2 this by ax by 2 now x by 2 x by 2 dividing both numerator and denominator makes sense but I have this additional a and b so that means I have to divide this by 2a right so 2a here and 2b here is it okay so now b and b cancel a and a cancel so dividing by x by 2 both do you see that part right so so we are dividing by this expression both numerator and denominator so this b by b, b cancels so it becomes x by 2 a cancel x by 2. do you understand that part well so that is how it is. Is that okay? Now the whole idea was to write it in this fashion to show you how exactly we are getting the next step. So next step I could have written direct also which is limit x approaches 0 for sine ax divided by 2 over ax by 2, right? And then I'm left with this a here. So I'm doing this as 1 by a. Is that okay? So that becomes the numerator part. Similarly, I could write the denominator part as limit x approaches 0. So I'm writing this, this divide by this means 1 over b sine of bx over 2 divided by bx over 2. I hope that is clear, right? And this is whole square. So go through this step clearly to understand, but that is how it could be rearranged, right? 
Now the limit of this portion is is 1, 1 over a times 1, right? So, so we can write this as equals to 1 over a over, this is 1 over b, is it okay? Or it could be written as b over a, I'm sorry, this is whole square, so whole square, and so this is b over a whole square, or the answer will be b square over a square. So that is how you can get your answer. So the limit for this function is equals to square of b and a ratio, right? So b square over a square. Uh, so this is kind of tricky. We have some manipulations here. First thing is we have used the identity cos 2x equals to 1 minus 2 sine square x to rewrite the given expression in terms of sine square and then we divided both numerator and denominator by the theta part and then we found the limit. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Go through it once again. It really helps to understand when you go twice or maybe more number of times through the video. Post questions in case of difficulty. Thank you and all the best. Thank <laughs> you.